they probably go hell for leather from the start. Well, that's why we've had as many starts in the Grand National, you know, as many false starts, and they all get excited. But it is the Grand National, so why shouldn't they? Good luck to the starter, Robbie Supple, who you saw a few moments ago. One just out of line there, I think it's in the party politics colours. See you at midnight. There's the last samurai with the nose bands getting into line. They'll have to walk in now. Walk in to approach the starter. One at the top there, getting into line as well. Maggio, that is, at the top of your screen. The flags up, the latest chapter of Grand National History about to unfold. In charge of our commentary team, Richard Hoyles. Double Ross is a little bit ahead of the others. Maggio's being led in towards the wide outside. But they're sent on their way. Grand National field away to a first-timer. So as they head over towards the Belling Road, Angelo Conti is one of those that is prominent on the inside in the very early stages. Lord Windermere is also in a handy position. And Total Recall is quite handy in these uh, early stages as they cross the Belling Road. Captain Redbeard not far away. And perfect candidate as well towards the outside. We have the likes of Thunder and Roses. Milan's Bar is front rank. They prepare to leave the ground for the first time. Here's Mark Johnson. That's far on the outside, just about touched down in front, and down at the first is Perfect Candidate, and he's one of a couple who have gone, and also at the back of the field, Black Lion is down as well at fence number one. So we lost two at the first fence, over fence number two, and the remaining runners are safely over. We chase the spud now, the back marker. They go towards the third, the open ditch. I just now has the lead over Double Ross in second. St. R will jump in in third position. And a very bad mistake by Total Recall. A brilliant recovery by his rider there, Paul Townend. He was almost down and out. They go on then towards the fourth, and it's I just know who will rise in front. He leads here by a length to, in second place, Milan Spa and St. R made a bad mistake. Here's Ian Bartlett. Just in behind, but he does see you at midnight and camps in red beard and tiger. Roll isn't far behind, St. R still up with them despite that bad air at their previous fence. But I just know, yellow sleeves to Milan Spa and Double Ross. The leading trio as they get over the next fence and they approach Beaches. Brooke, Uccello Conti, nose bounded, is up towards the leaders. Valsid, a leader of the Dutchman, a warrior's tail behind these. Ten on Nivenay and Lord Windermere chasing the front rank, then Captain Redbeard and Shantou Far in children's list. This is Beaches Brook. I just know Blood as he's down. I just know goes at Beaches Brook. There's a couple of fallers behind that as well as they head on now towards Point Haven. Virgilio has gone. I just know and Virgilio, two of the three that went at Beaches Brook. They come now to the Point Haven. Uccello Conti and Green is the leader to double Ross. Captain Redbeard's unseated the rider. The Dutchman, Val Salido behind the leaders from Warriors Tail and Total Recall and Pleasant Company. And then comes Bless the Wings and Ten on Nivenay. And towards the outside is See You at Midnight as they take Canal Turn. Alfred is over behind those from Children's List of Tiger Road and Lord Windermere, who has unseated rider. Lord Windermere is down. There's another one down there. Uh, as well, which might well be, f which his final night has gone towards the back of the field. Pleasant company and you tell it the leaders as we rejoin Mark. And another shuddering mistake there by Total Recall, another miracle recovery by his rider as they go on now towards the second fence down this line of the track. And it's Uccello Conti on the inside who leads there by a couple of lengths of Double Ross who took it in second. The Dutchman was over in third position. Then Milan's bar and also towards the outside is Stewart Midnight. These are then being followed towards the uh, centre of the field by Pleasant Company. Annabelle flies towards the wide outside as they go over that open ditch at which Tenor Nivene made a very bad mistake. Now right out the back of the field, Delusion of Grandeur is struggling very badly and he is last also towards the rear of the field is the last samurai and so too as they go over the next is Vieux Leon Rouge but still very tightly grouped the leaders as Utelo Conti and Daryl Jacob looking for his second win in the Grand National has the lead over the Melling Road it's Utelo Conti who's out in front to Double Ross racing in second and then Bryony Frost is in third as they go towards halfway on Milan's bar here's Richard so out in front Uccello Conti and Double Ross from Milan's bar giving Bryony Frost a great ride See you at midnight, the Dutchman in company with Pleasant Company. They're being tracked through by Alpha Desobo for Rachel Blackmore. Towards the outside of the field, Annabelle flies quite handy. Val Salido towards the inside. Then behind these, Warriors Tail, Bless the Wings and Children's List are just ahead of Tiger Roll. Then behind these, the Grey towards the outside, Bay des Eels, just worse than midfield. Chantu Fire comes next as they head down towards the next obstacle. And uh, out in front, it is Uccello Conti who leads Double Ross. From
from Milan's bar as they prepare to leave the ground again. A little bit of a run between fences there amongst those that are out the back at the moment. Maggio chase the spud. Delusion of grandeur are continuing. The last Samurais got back in touch with the main group having been behind early as they head towards the 14th and after that will be the chair. It's a Cello Conti who is out in front in the Grand National showing the way from Pleasant Company Double Ross. In fourth place Alpha Des Ovo from the inside the Dutchman then Val Salido. The Tiger rolls not that far away as they head on down towards the chair and it's a Cello Conti who'll lead them towards the largest fence on the course. A Cello Conti stands on the chair in the lead. Uh, down there was Alpha Des Ovo. Rachel Blackmore. Send R has also been brought down there at the chair. Those two riders yet to rise. In the meantime, they're on towards the water. Uccello Conti leads Pleasant Company, the Dutchman of Double Ross. Milan's Bar races in fifth place over the water. We'd see you at midnight, bless the wings and Tiger Roll. Behind those towards the inside, Warrior's Tail. And then towards the outside of that, children. This bait is Eel Annabelle Fly in midfield with Tenor Nivernay. Behind these, the Red Cap, belonging to Road to Riches. Out wider is Thunder and Roses. Verly on Rouge, total recall is quite well back. Pendra comes next. Raz de Marie is under pressure. The last Samurai Maggio stopped to a virtual walk and delusion of grandeur is also well behind and about to be pulled up. Round about 24. Heading out then on the final circuit of the Grand National led by Uccello Conti and Pleasant Company. Milan's bar still front rank with Double Ross and then the Dutchman as they head out on their second circuit on the run down towards Beaches and we rejoin Mark. Delusion of grandeur was pulled up before this fence and it was Uccello Conti who led them over that one to in second place the Czechs of Pleasant Company and they are then being followed by Milan's bar who's always been prominent and so too is Double Ross as they go over another plain fence Uccello Conti was about to be joined towards his outside there by Pleasant Company as now they go on towards another big open ditch Uccello Conti towards the inside rail Pleasant Company with him Double Ross then Milan's bar see you at midnight jump that one in fifth position and then the Dutchman the Dutchman is then being followed by Tiger Roll who's trying to get a little bit closer and at the back of the field pulled up is Maggio. Maggio is out of the race. Thunder and Roses is last and struggling. Last Samurai is also towards the rear of the field as they go over the next a new leader. Now it's Pleasant Company. Shows out in front to see you at midnight in second position. Milan's Bar, Uccello, Conti, Alfa, Desobo, the Dutchman behind those then comes Children's List and Tiger Roll and Annabel Fly as they come over the one before Beecher's Brook but it looks as if they will be uh, waved round Beecher's Brook. The last Samurai's towards the back of the field so they bypass Beecher's now. It looks like uh, Thunder and Roses is the last one of them still going and it's the yellow sleeve jacket out in front of Pleasant Company to the pink and purple jacket of See You at Midnight Uccello Conti in green, Milan's Bar and Brani Frost in fourth position. And then Alfred is over and Double Ross and the Dutchman and Tiger Roll and Children's List. And in behind those is Annabelle Fly and then comes Warrior's Tail towards the inside of the course. And Gaslight Boy is there as they take now the Foynaven fence. Uh, total recall is with Warrior's Tail towards the back of the field with Sham 2 Fly up. As they get over that, the Dutchman was the faller there. But at the canal turn for the second time, it is Pleasant Company. Shows out in front to Uccello Conti. See you at midnight. Alfred is over in Children's List and Milan's Bar is in clear and out of double. Ross and Tiger Rolf yearly on Rouge by those from Total Recall as they race on then to the fast the Valentines Alpha de Zobo uh, back in the field Vasilidio I should say in second position who's chasing Pleasant Company as they get over that one and we rejoin Mark Michele Conti made a bad mistake at the canal term but he's still there in second place they go on now towards the fifth from home in the Grand National and it's Pleasant Company and David Mullins bidding for his second win in the Grand National who has the lead over in second place see you at midnight these are followed by Uccello Conti who's towards the inside of Val Salido then the very pale pink colours on the outside of Children's List who's right there and so too is Tiger Roll as they go over the final open ditch Uccello Conti is down he unseated his rider and now they're going on towards a third from home Tenor Nivene has been pulled up at the back of the field so they're coming down towards the third from home in the National it's Pleasant Company on the inside who's always been prominent another lead of a couple of lengths over the absolutely cruising Tiger Roll and David Russell in second position See you at Midnight is in third Val Salido will be fourth as they go over the Melling Road. They're being followed by Children's List and creeping into it now. The very pale colours of Bless the Wings. He's another one now who has got every chance. These are followed by Gasline Boy who's just in behind Annabelle Fly. And after Annabelle Fly on the inside is Milan's Bar as they race on towards the second last and the conclusion of the Grand National with Richard Hoyles. So Pleasant Company's been out in front a long way for David Mullins but Tiger Roll looms in his mirrors in second place as they make the turn. Uh, 
Uh, then behind these is Bless the Wings in third. Val Salido, Annibel Fly is pulled towards the outside. Gasline Boy in sixth. Then see you at midnight. And behind those, Road to Riches. Two out in the national. And the Tigers come there cantering on the outside and jumps to the lead in his Tiger Roll and Pleasant Company who head down towards the last with the Grand National. It would seem between them. Bless the Wings is back in third. Annabelle Fly is fourth. This is the final event. Tiger Roll is over in front and he's trying to now steal away. Pleasant Company in second. Bless the Wings and Annabelle Fly in an Irish clean sweep. And it's Tiger Roll who is in full cry, leading by five lengths towards the elbow. Pleasant Company in second. Bless the Wings and Annabelle Fly towards the final 200 yards. The diminutive Tiger Roll senses a place in history. Pleasant Company in second. Bless the Wings and Annabelle Fly. They're finishing well strung out. But it's Tiger Roll for Gordon Elliott. And it's the long wait for National winner about to end for Davy Russell. Pleasant Company's coming back. Tiger Roll hanging on. Just may have lasted as Pleasant Company surged at him late on. Bless the Wings and Annabelle Fly. It's tight third and fourth. Milan's bar. Bridie Frost home in fifth. Sick for road to Rich's gas line boy has crossed over the line as well. As has Valsolino Burley on Rouge. It got desperate. I'm pretty sure Tiger Roll has held on. But in the final strides, it got mighty tight. Tiger Roll on the far side. It's officially, I think, a photograph as Pleasant Company surged at him as the tank began to empty. It was also close for third and fourth place. Bless the wings and Annabelle Fly were involved there. Millen's Bar came home in fifth place. A photo finish to the Grand National. Tiger Roll looked to have it in safekeeping, but in the end it turned into a bit of a scramble and the judge will be needed just to confirm the final position of the front two. A tiger with the heart of a lion. It looks like the smallest horse in the field has held on. It is a photograph. The tension will continue. Two brave horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. To finish for first place. First, number 13. Tag